What's up team? It is your biggest fan, The Real Casadero, and in this video we're talking about should you learn to code? I'm gonna tell you why I believe you should, but it is probably not the answer you're expecting. So hang out to the end of the video and you will understand exactly what I am talking about. So let's get to it team. Whether or not you should learn to code. Here's the deal team, right? Here in America, where I was born and I've lived my entire life, I started my journey in Chicago and I've lived in Alaska, I lived in Texas, I was in the army, I've lived in Afghanistan, Korea, Germany, Iraq, Washington State is where I am now. I've lived a bunch of places, I've been a bunch of places, I've seen a lot of different things. I've, I've become a student of life, I've read tons of books, I've watched tons of documentaries. This is what I can tell you, anything, any human being can imagine can become a reality. Anything, anything you can imagine, you can make live, realistic on this planet. But it may not all come together in the way that you imagined. There's gonna be some stuff going on that you didn't even imagine. Now, if some of you are watching this right now, you're like, oh man, this guy, he's like way out there. I'm telling you, just stick with me here. Let's talk about Walt Disney. Walt Disney had an idea. He had an idea to build a magic kingdom, a place where people could go that was just like what he had in his mind. He had a picture of what a small Small town would be like. He had a picture of of all of these fancy, fanciful things, princess castles, and all kinds of stuff. He was like, "What if you could live this instead of it being in your head? What if you could go? What if there was a place you could go to where this actually existed, where you could interact with it, not just with your mind, but with your body?" And he set out to build Disneyland. It was hard. Everybody he talked to was like, "Dude." You can't do this. It, it's impossible. You can't build a town and fill it with fake people and have people pay to come to this town and just hang out. Nobody could see it. He went bankrupt I don't know how many times trying to make this vision come true. And he did eventually and that gave us Disneyland and eventually Disney World and then we had Disney World Europe. Now we have the Disney Channel. Now Disney owns all these other companies. Disney's making music. Disney's making movies. Disney's making TV shows. Disney's making superstars. Little kids start out on the Disney Channel. Maybe they start out in a commercial somewhere and Disney sees them. Then they put them in a, a commercial related to Disney. Then that kid goes and they're in a Disney TV show. Then they're in a Disney movie. And maybe they have the talent. They can sing. They can dance. Now they become a, a music artist. Now they're making music videos for Disney. Now they're traveling around the world putting on concerts for Disney. And then Disney puts them in some big box office movie or makes them a voice in some animated movie. Now they're a superstar. This is all from the mind of one person. You're probably thinking like, how is this related to code? How is this gonna help me on my journey in the future? Everything is related. And what helped me a lot was when I realized that everything is just a system. It's a series of steps. Everything has, has a cause and everything has a reaction. So if you can think out into the future of what it is you want to build, what it is you want to create, how you're going to see things, you can begin to break the process down into very into smaller steps. When you break them, when you break the process down into smaller steps, each step becomes easier. It becomes doable. And not only do you have a system for getting from where you are to where you want to be, you have a system where if you're building something, you can get help from other people to help you build it because they can all work on a different piece of the puzzle. This is why I believe people should learn to code. You don't have to become a programmer, programmer like it. You don't have to make it your goal to go work at Google or get a job in tech somewhere. You could you could literally just be a florist. Like your thing is you want to grow flowers and you want to make that your living. Going into the future, everything that we do is going to be touched by code. It's going to be virtually impossible to just go and set up a flower shop on a corner somewhere and get business. It it, it it's, it, it, it depends on it depends on where you where you are right the type of people in your area there's a lot of different factors right like huge corporations before they open a store they do a ton of research just to find out if this is the right place to open a store when you see a Starbucks on one side of the street and you look across the street and there's another Starbucks that's not a mistake that was done on purpose when we go out to open a business like let's say we want to be a florist 
we're thinking we got to go out, we got to get a storefront, we got to do all these things. That means we have to go do a whole bunch of research. But maybe there's a different way we could be a florist without having to take on a, a massive amount of debt or spend a, a, a humongous amount of time and resources doing research. Where are we going to put our store? How long is it going to take us to get from our house to our store? We got to factor in gas costs. We got to factor in uh, what we're going to get our flower, all these different things. So what if there was a way that you could you could actually do what it is you want to do, but you don't you don't have to take this huge humongous risk to do it. Technology, code, software, programming, the internet makes that possible. So now you can have an idea to do something, like be a florist, and you can start right where you are. The first thing you have to do is find the flowers that you want to sell. Then you think about, okay, I've got these flowers and I want to sell them. Is there a way that I can I can sell them without having to go open up a huge store or whatever, right? Well, if I do it like this, maybe if right when I get my flowers, how am I going to store these flowers or am I growing them myself? There's all these different things. So you could grow them yourself. They could be in the ground and you can make your business fresh cut flowers or something like that, right? So you get a whole garden out back that you've grown at your home. You learn to code and you build yourself a little website. It didn't have to be anything super complicated. You just take pictures of your flowers. You build a website, put your flowers on them. You could use WordPress. You could learn HTML. You could learn CSS. You could learn JavaScript, whatever, right? You put them online and now it's, hey, how do I sell these things? How do I put prices on them? This is what code makes possible. And so once you've done all that stuff, now it's like, how do I get in front of people? Oh, if I understand meta tags, then I can put these tags on my webpage. Then to get in front of more people, I can go out onto the internet. I, I can go on Facebook, I could go on Google, I could go on YouTube. I could go on YouTube and talk about how I grow my flowers. And this will bring people to see me and they'll go to my website and they'll buy my stuff. Yes, everyone should learn to code. You don't have to become a programmer. Remember, it's all about the process, the series of steps of getting from where you are to where you want to be. And so when I say learn to code, learn to program, I'm saying learn to think in a series of steps, a series of processes. That's going to help you overcome a lot of the anxiety we 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 have when we when we think about our future and our goals and the things we want to do and our big ideas and how we're going to accomplish them. We just break the stuff down and once it's broken down then we could work on it and we'll know so for instance in this example we're talking about someone who wants to be a florist they want to open a flower shop right they don't know how to coat they just know how to grow flowers what i'm saying is hey grow the flowers take the pictures then go out to google and say how do i build a website to show off my flowers how do i build a website to sell my flowers you may come across html and you look at it and you say hey i can do this and you become interested in it and you're like i want to build my own custom site now you can go learn html other people are going to go they're going to do the search and they're going to find wordpress they're going to go through the whole wordpress process but remember the main key to all of this is that everything is just a series of steps the deal is is that this is where the world is going and there's no turning back. It is going to be difficult for people to just open up a storefront and, and be able to sustain themselves. If you want to grow your business, the internet is the fastest way to do it because you can go out onto social media. You can post here. You can post there. You can create content. You can make your own commercials. Just like I'm recording this YouTube video, anybody can go get a camera, sit down, make a video, go learn Premiere Pro, which is learning. Learning to program is just a different type of programming. Instead of writing out code, you're, you're, you're organizing film clips on the screen. But underneath all of that user interface is pieces of code, the same stuff somebody would write. That's what's going to drive people to want to learn more, right? They, they're, they're doing this thing. This is what all programming is. Somebody was doing something and they said, hey, is there a different way I can do this? How can I control this thing? And they set out. They wrote some more code that made a new feature, made a new option, made a new whatever. So yes, team, basically that is why I think everyone should learn to code because we can use that knowledge to build the future we want. And at some point, it is going to be the only thing that separates the haves and the have nots. Those who are able to see a big idea, break it down into small steps and then go out and find people to help them build it, find people to build it, pay people to build it or build it themselves. These are going to be the... This these are going to be the only options before these were still the only options but we were doing these things in the physical world and it would take a long time to do but now that we have the internet and the internet is everywhere and everybody has these mobile devices we're able to do it a lot faster using a lot less resources and in in, in taking up a lot less time people who become really good at that those are the people who are going to excel in our future environment all right team so that is it i'm your biggest fan of the real castadero i hope that helped you out i hope that just put some put some some ideas in your head about how 
maybe learning to code is the thing to do. And, and, and if you want to get started, a good place to start is just HTML, CSS, JavaScript. How do I build a web application? You can check out the Code 365 Startup Lab. There's some super basic, super simple courses there for beginners. They're all free. And if you want to support the channel, then you can just sign up for the paid course. And as I produce more content and more tutorials and they come out, you'll be getting those. Also, if you want to support the channel, check out WriteCodeDrinkCoffee.com where you can get merchandise like this hat and this shirt and Write Code Drink Coffee stickers and more stuff. Team, team, I truly believe, I honestly believe that everyone should have at least an understanding of code. It is going to help you move forward to become the person you want to be so you can do the things you want to do and live the life you want to live. All right, team, that is it. I will see you in the next episode.